If this is your first time to the channel, consider subscribing, press the bell icon and never miss an update. So hey guys, um, so finally our uh, digital CDI is here and this is the latest model that uh, uh, Allied creates. So um, this is with the batteryless ultra booster. So we will start from this. Okay, this is the high tension coil and if you notice this is made by power. So um, you know these coils are especially good quality because um, you know they produce amazing spark strength. So ideally you should either go for splendor coils or these coils. These are preferable because they are more powerful than the splendor OE coils. Since it is coming in the package it's a great thing. You know really amazing set of coils. Uh, if I had to buy these, I would have bought the exact same coil. So it's a great thing. Um, second is the magnet. And I want to show you something on the magnet. If you see, there are two tabs welded at 180 degree apart. Okay. So every time they cross the pulsar uh, coil, it will create a spark signal. And the uh, spark signal will be converted into a proper spark using the intelligent CDI. Um, this actually uh, automatically retards the ignition timing at higher RPM and increases or advances the ignition timing during lower RPM. Uh, so it varies around 20 degrees. I will put the chart uh, to show you guys how it looks like. This is like I said battery uh, less ultra booster. This is also a regulator. So what it does is it basically replaces the use or need of a battery because the biggest problem that we guys have is we do not have proper batteries on these bikes because they usually don't last long. So that's a very good thing that they have done and this is the first in the industry. I haven't seen any other manufacturer produce this and also um, it goes without saying this kit was sent by Mr. Abdul Rahman to me for reviewing and you know he has given me an amazing service so far uh, all the people who have purchased uh, cdi kits from him through our promotion code um, has given very nice feedback because tell you guys you know it's usually people who grow all of a sudden are the ones who you know turn arrogant uh, mr abdul rahman has been in the industry for almost 40 years and he's about 60 years old so you cannot change the behavior of a 60 year old and you know these things kind of get stuck in your blood so he's a very nice gentleman uh, i remember one of our subscribers actually had an issue with his uh, stator where the magnet was rubbing against it uh, he just sent him a replacement without asking even a single question you know that's how good service you get and the dispatch happens immediately it's not like you know you pay today they will say okay we have to manufacture and then after 10 days 15 days or a month they manufacture and send and they also provide installation support like you know if you need to understand how the coil is to be placed they will uh, provide you all that support so what i'm going to do is i'm going to share a video that mr rahman sent to me uh, which details how to install this okay so that uh, he's showing on a bench uh, but what we will do is after that video i'll show you how to done this on a i mean do this on a bike so i've bought some more stuff like you know these are uh, the plug caps unfortunately ours didn't come with a plug cap so i only had an option of getting this varrock brand these are good brand these are not bad but then uh, if you have to get something get oe uh, honda activa plugs uh, plug caps or get uh, OERX 135 or 100 plug caps those are 5k plug caps uh, these are being used in a lot of bikes these days so you know i went for these these are not very expensive and this is what is available now so i had to go with that plus i bought new petrol tube because you know the bike has been standing for some time so i don't know the condition of the tube and i also got new petrol filters so what we will do now is we will start the installation process before that i will put mr um, abdul rahman's video where he details uh, the installation process uh, he gives you a very clear picture of what needs to be done 
and post that we will start the this is rd 350 digital cdx setup this is the stator plate this is the cdi this is a pr lud pr lud means battery regulator less ultra booster it works substitute of the battery this is two 13 kv hd coils then this is a battery let us start connecting the ignition system this is a starter plate with 12 coils dc this power wire you should be connected into this wiring like this this system goes this this is wire grounding neutral wire battery charging then this two wires from the pickup coil this pickup coil goes into this cdi goes into cdi then magnet plate wiring is over from cdi pickup coil goes input then output return these two wires of hp coil black and orange to be connected in the wiring harness remaining this is two wires this this black and white it goes for the kill or offing wire here this two wires idle because for, this you have to use for ac ac means analog cd we made the digital so this two this two has been isolated and this wire is offing over and this right wire goes inside this vr lub this is cd output this is called vr lub this is battery less battery regulator less ultra booster and this ultra booster wire it's connected in the regulator area that's so connected in the regulator area this has been grounded all black is grounded then we'll go for hd then we'll go to hd coil this is the hd output orange color is hd output so we are giving the connector here to connect to connect the 13 kv hd coil in this one connector and one more this it is connected with the this hd So this is the adapter goes to the plug. This adapter goes to the plug. Only this much is the wiring. Very simple, no confusion. All are fitted, but you should not use these two wires. It is isolated. Then, after all setting, if the battery is in good condition, plus battery is good condition, you can go for this. go for this plus if in good condition use the battery if not you terminate the battery leave the wire as it is in any fire following one of these you can ask the question by calling me to my number the sir
connections as you can see this magnet is properly fixed there are uh, three screws the good thing about those is that they are external so if you want to adjust time you can actually loosen this and adjust it so if you can notice the timing mark is here uh, however the picture mr rahman had sent me the pulsar coil was sitting somewhere here so the other two timing marks have aligned uh, so in case if there is a timing difference we can adjust it so that's a great thing about it so like you see there are two tanks one here one here at 180 degrees apart so every time each tank goes uh, i have to check if you know that's the top dead center point if that is the top dead center point then it would mean that it would fire one cylinder uh one time and then the other one at 180 degrees i have also gone ahead and installed the ignition coils uh in the stock coil locations i have used an allen key uh screw to do that and i have also connected the ground to these uh, ignition coils under with a nut so these are pretty secure and grounded now what we need to do is there is a looping cable available which will loop these two and then connect it to the cdi and the rectifier unit so let's quickly go uh, i have done the main connections uh, okay guys the biggest problem with people like me who also have ocd is i just wanted the bike to start because i have to take apart the bike again um especially parts like this is going to be replaced plus i am going to get this rechromed um but then like always i ended up building the complete bike and i also uh you know completed the wiring mm, except for the horns everything is completed everything is working i need a flasher relay because what i did is i put my flasher relay into the orange rd i have to get one because um, right now the indicators don't work because of that other than that you know the bike is superb the lighting is something that you know you need to see so i'll start the bike quickly and show you guys the lighting and everything uh, hopefully i'm able to do justice so i'll have to turn off the lights in the garage to do that okay <laughs> was the uh, bike actually running out of petrol because that is the reason why you saw the idle climbing slightly uh, towards the end and also you know one cylinder was intermittently um, you know firing because the length of these uh, fuel tubes are not equal you know one is longer than the other so that is the reason why uh, you you'll see there is a bit of fuel here but the other one is absolutely dry so we'll have to fill her that is the first thing that we have to do otherwise uh, you know we won't be able to ride her at all so that is the plan tomorrow morning once the petrol pumps open i'll have to fill her up uh couple of 
stupid issues have happened i have actually uh, the dipstick is also gone in the other bike so i have to get that new uh, because i was not planning in setting this bike up so soon um, so like i said i'm very excited uh, i have to you know wait till tomorrow to take her for a ride uh, right now the um, rear drum is kind of locking up uh, on slightest touch so i have to adjust that also um, so once the drum is adjusted then probably we'll be able to use the rear brake as well uh, because that is needed the bite in the front is like too crazy and you know sometimes it kind of dives down pretty harshly so it's kind of scary also so yeah i have to clean all the mess also i don't know what to do next i'm kind of you know all buzzed up so uh, there are a couple of things which we'll have to address immediately one is i have to reduce the height of the front forks um i was also thinking probably i can you know uh, get the indian version um with the hub and then you know convert that into uh, probably a us spec uh, disc setup that is going to be fun so anybody who has an indian set for sale do let me know uh, i'm not going to pay you guys huge amount of money so if it is reasonable only then i will look into buying that otherwise um, that is not going to happen so yeah um, it's a fun bike you saw the light you saw it's slightly misfiring right now because the fuel has got over another thing i have to do is i have to somehow wire the uh horn as well because that is required in this bike the the bike is actually pretty fast and ultimately it ends up reaching you know the target pretty fast so people don't move on time so those horns were really useful i have to see if this uh, battery less ultra booster is able to you know sustain the horns as well So yeah, um, that was it. Uh, I hope you guys um, enjoyed what you saw today. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Okay, thanks a lot. Good night. Bye bye.